Hello, Oscillator Sync here, and welcome to another video in the series where we're building patches from scratch on the Korg MicroKorg 2. In this video, we're going to tackle another base patch, and in particular, a kind of acidic base patch. Should I say the numbers 303? Well, I've said them now. You know what I mean when I say kind of an acidic base sound. And we'll look at how we can build the sort of the, the sound of the patch, although inherently that's quite a simple kind of patch. So what I want to look at a bit more is how we can build some stuff in the uh, patch, the V patch, that interacts with the arpeggiator so that we can get that kind of slide plus accent vibe and we can kind of like hold some notes and the arpeggiator kind of takes over and gives us that kind of acidic sequence as well as the sound of the bass. Before we dive into the patch, just in the interests of transparency, um, I got this unit for free from Korg, um, although not for making videos. I actually worked on the factory patches for this synth, which was really, really wonderful. Uh, so although this is not a sponsored video as such, I think it's important to let you know that there is a relationship there between myself and Korg as far as this synth goes. So you can apply whichever pinch of salt you feel you need to apply to anything I say, but uh, hopefully the patch will speak for itself. So let's start by initializing the patch. So funk and init and execute. And now we have the initialized patch. So um, the first thing that we're going to do here, very, very important, obviously the 303 sorry, I should just probably stop saying 303. That acid scent uh, is monophonic. So we're gonna come into the uh, voice here. And at the moment, poly mono is set to poly. And we're gonna to go to mono legato. And we're gonna use legato because we're interested in getting that slide behavior built into this patch. Um, so legato is what we need for that. We'll come back to the portamento, that slide in a second. In terms of the oscillator setup, we're kind of already there for this kind of patch. We've got a sawtooth, which is what we want. Um, depending on how the patch goes, I might come back and actually treat us to a sub oscillator. Don't know yet. We'll see how we go. Um, so uh, we'll come into the amp envelope and uh, that's the filter, the amp, and we're going to want it to sustain a little bit, probably for those slides. We don't want to go down to nothing. But we do kind of want that movement in there, so that's fine there. Yeah. In terms of velocity, Not at the moment. I might come back and play with that. Release. Probably do want a little bit of release. So that's our legato. The filter, of course, is important here. So we'll come in here. Now, strictly speaking, the filter type for the target synth uh, is actually a 18 decibel per octave filter, which neither the four or the two is. I don't think a blend part between them is strictly speaking that, but it's probably somewhere close. So I'll try that. Of course, the big thing here is gonna be that resonance. But that resonance is a little bit kind of polite at the moment, so let's Let's just crank this drive up. You can hear that that's almost squaring off the waveform as well. Just gives us a bit more of the fundamental. So with the drive down, and obviously it's getting louder as well, but you can kind of hear that burn, which is very cool. Um, okay, 
We need to get that filter moving, of course. So we'll come into the filter, e.g. Just bring the cutoff down first. Into the filter, e.g. Give it some intensity. Sustain just to let the legato yeah. Okay, something like that. We'll fine tune it as we go. So we need to get that slide in here. So we'll come into the pitch. So I'll press that a second time. At the moment, the porter time is set to zero, which means it's basically no portamento. And as we turn that up, we get our slides. Something like that. We've got two different portamento modes here. We've got um, always and fingered. And uh, choose my words carefully here. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to want fingered. Um, so always means that you're, you're going to get that portamento happening, that slide happening, no matter what sort of gap you leave, you're always going to get it. Fingered, on the other hand, if I play cleanly, no portamento, no slide, but if I hold a note down and play another note, then we get the slide. And that mode is how we're going to fudge the arpeggiator to give us that kind of sort of slide coming on and off vibe. So let's turn the arpeggiator on and I'll latch it as well so I don't have to keep doing stuff and I'll just play in some notes. And let me just turn it down because it's a bit much. Uh, we'll come into the arpeggiator menu here and it's worth just talking a little bit about this. Um, so we've got our different types of arpeggiators. So we'll probably go for a random for this one. We can add an octave if we want. Uh, on the second side we've got our swing and our resolution. But what's particularly interesting is when you're in one of these art pages, all of these lights here are lighting up. And they're actually gates. So you've kind of got an arpeggiator sequencer. And you've also got this last step setting here, which basically changes the length of the sequencer. And you kind of get to quite cool things pretty easily. It's simple, but it's it effective, right? It's kind of a partway between an arpeggiator and a sequencer. The other control that we've got here is gate time, and this is kind of integral to what I want to do, because I want to be able to basically have slides happen. And they'll happen kind of randomly, but they'll sound like they're sequenced. <laughs> so the reason this is going to work is that the gate time, anything up to and including 99, we're not fingering the arpeggiator. At 100% however, we are. And this control is modulatable in the V patch. So that's what we're going to do. So 
So we're going to come over um, to the view patch. And what we're going to do is we're going to have an LFO go to, come past it, arpeggiator gate. What sort of LFO? Well, we're going to use LFO2 here and we're going to use a sample and hold and we're going to tempo sync it. Actually, we can probably just use one shot as long as we've got a key trig on there. That should work, actually. It might be cleaner. Uh, so, in theory, one shot with the key trig being voice, you should basically get a new random voltage every time a note is played, which is kind of what we want here. Should work. I guess we'll find out in just a second. So if we now connect this, okay, perfect. So that's um, because the intensity is so high, it's basically always sliding. But if we bring this down, it's not behaving quite as I wanted. Uh, so we'll go with um, tempo and set it to the resolution here. better. Yeah, that's what we want. And then by balancing the intensity, we can sort of bias it towards rarely sliding or sliding a lot. do is kind of get that sort of um, accent-y kind of thing going on in there. So what we'll do is we'll use LFO1, also sample and hold, also tempo sync, and also at the uh, speed of our arpeggiator, which is 16th notes. And we'll come in here and we'll also apply LFO1. Do it bipolar to the oh, I was already on it to the filter, e.g. intensity. Not by much. Kind of got that sort of uh, accent y kind of thing happening. And then it's all just then about bouncing the, the decay, the intensity, the initial filter, the amount of resonance. And we can get all those different vibes. An alternative one that we could try for this um, filter EG one would be the um, decay perhaps on that filter EG or the decay and release probably. Oh, I like that. I like that more probably. What I might do is I might set this to positive only so we have more control over what the shortest is. That's cool, yeah. Nice. Well, that probably deserves a little bit of effects as well. Okay, let's think about some effects perhaps.
Uh, now, maybe the obvious thing on the mod here would be... Calm down now. That uh, would be like some distortion. And yeah, okay, yeah. for that. We need to have this less intense. But it almost like hides what the filter's doing. Oh, and to crank the resonance again. Yeah, that's kind of that is that is kind of cool. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's the decimator. Oh, I like that actually. That's the wave folder. This one's the crush. Or the crash, rather. I mean, that is disgusting, but. I'm going to go with distortion, but perhaps I am going with distortion now. Yeah, it might be. That's disgusting. In a good way. Decimator is trying wet. Oh yeah, I, I, I had another plan. I was going to go with it's the amp simulator. Goodness me! I was going to go with a flanger, like a slow, not so wide. I think it's distortion, isn't it? That's what we need. I'm willing to change my plans. And any of these are good. The distortion is normalizing things so much. Uh, if we come back in here and make this decay and release patch a little bit more. Extreme. Sorry, I got completely lost there. I want to be able to grab the cutoff, so I'm going to assign it to the mod here. 
Jesus. Okay. Uh, so we'll come in here. We will do mm, mod wheel plus can go to filter cut off. That's still controlling the wobble as well, so let's disconnect that. Disgusting. Let's add some delay. Let's BPM sync it. Bring that driver down. Let's go back to one of the crazy So cool with the sort of vocalizations. Too much delay so Great fun. Yeah. I mentioned that I might treat us to a sub octave. Let's just try that. So Mix will bring in oscillator 2 here. Come to oscillator 2 settings. Triangle, just keep it clean. Bring the stosh back in.
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed things getting out of hand. I quite like it when things get out of hand when you're messing with synths. I think that's where a lot of the fun stuff uh, lives. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, then as always, a like on the video and a subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed is massively appreciated. If you're interested in the MicroKorg 2 and you want to see more patch building videos, there are going to be a bunch in the coming weeks and months. I've got a list of ideas that I want to do on the channel and if there are uh, patches that you'd like to see me build uh, then let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do no promises but you know a good idea is a good idea and I'll pursue it other than that as always thank you so much for joining me it's hugely appreciated and until next time take care bye bye